August 6th, 7th, and 8th, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Welcome to the weekend. We have so much fire in the sky. We have the sun in Leo, the moon in Sag. We have Jupiter in Aries. There are three planets in fire. So can we talk about that? Because I was born with this. I mean, people think it's a little funny how I never get tired. And this is where astrology really hits the ground. When there's three planets in fire and there's a constant source of juju because I get excited over nothing, like, oh my goodness, believe it or not, it's August and we have the chance August 6th and 7th, it's the weekend to have a party. Any chance they have to have a party. Lucille's birthday was the 6th. Just think of what a crazy example she was of just throwing her energy around. And because Mars is in Taurus, and it's squaring Saturn and Aquarius, there is a baby born with this would have like a little bit of a governor on it. Sometimes squares are not bad because there's so much energy in the heavens. And the nature of Leo Sag is big energy, loud energy, bold, blunt. They get in trouble. These people, when you meet somebody with the Grand Trine and fire, first we're attracted to the fire. We come in real close and we get all warm. Then all of a sudden it's too hot. And we back up and we back up because it's getting too hot. And then we come back in. And so fire creates a reaction. I learned this from working with Madonna, that you're both attracted to fire people. Sometimes they're too much for you, but they light up the room. And then also you're repulsed by it. Like, tone that out down. Where's the off button? Is this thing working? I can't match that girl. She's got so much fire. My system's not nearly activated. So if you are one of those people in the world who has a lot of fire, you're watching this video and you're going, yes, I'm blunt, I'm honest, I get super excited, I jump up and down, everything is exciting. I have joy go running through my veins and the downside is, oh, what's so funny? You know, that kind of attitude that this can elicit. So I'm curious, if you do have fire in as a child, you got in trouble, you turned it down. If as an adult you decided, you know what, I'm so blunt and honest, nobody can handle me, all those are negative wraps around fire. It doesn't have to be that way. It's chi, it's juice, it's passion, it's excitement, it's enthusiasm, it's teaching, it's so exciting. I love this weekend. Okay, so if you're listening to this and you're having a baby and the baby came out this weekend, you got one live wire. And by the way, it's not a bad thing. I hope I made that point. And Astrology Answers wanted me to tell you, if you're not feeling the fire, you go to my website, DebraSilvermanAstrology.com, and you say, I couldn't believe there was a grand trine of fire that weekend. I felt nothing. I was at home retreating. So then you go to the website, work with me. I've got a list of astrologers that I have really vigorously trained because you can see how much energy and enthusiasm I have. And then you get a reading done and it changes your life. I'm not kidding. Can pretty much guarantee one reading from one of our certified astrologers gets your fire going. Astrology gets to me to tell you, get up. 